this shot with all the people looking at Rudy as our girl walks in, at first just kind of in awe, their jaws on the floor, to then almost having to look away in disgrace, because ultimately he gets nothing after thinking he was about to get the world. I mean... Edie has never hit someone as hard as Rudy because, I mean, this was the perfect opportunity for him. He had an easy lay, she would give it to anyone, even if she said, no, I don't want to ruin my relationship with Roxy, no, I don't want to screw around with the whole policy, no, like, had things worked out a little better for him, we all know that he would have had the night of his life, and honestly, the fact that floppy, flappy quagmire wouldn't come out to play has never been more painful than in this moment for him, in a way. But seriously, I like the fact that something as serious as ED for so many people in the world the fact that they didn't write it off as like a one-off gag, but something that legit negatively affected his life, and it wasn't a magical fix. And I think we all know, Sylphie's probably gonna be the one who will help him overcome that hump, because a big thing that was established in the previous episode was it needed to be emotional, right? He needed to be able to trust someone 100%, and someone like Sylphie will probably be that person. And I'm very excited to see where they're gonna take it, because we are officially in the school arc, and the exams and the magical wonders are on the horizon. Now, full live reaction to Season 2, Episode 4 of That Mushuku Tensei Greatness is available over on my Patreon. If you'd like to see my full uncut thoughts as I watch today's, in my opinion, probably my favorite out of this season so far, I really, really enjoyed it. I think there was a lot of fun moments, there was a lot of damn meme faces, I mean... When the moment after Sol basically sleeps with her and he's like, oh, he's a little worried, like, hey, bro, I didn't mean to steal your girl. He's like, don't worry, she's not my girl. But just the fact that he's giving the thumbs up saying it was the night of his life, the best lay ever. And just the face, man, like, bruh. Like, just of all the times to not be able to get my little John up, this has to be it, right? Like, they obviously have fun now. But you can literally see the negative implications of something like this affecting him. And while there was a lot more humor this episode surrounding his ED, when you look at the entire package, I mean, the fact remains that this was treated seriously. And because he's in a better headspace now, he's no longer quickly trying to stab himself in the throat, we get to see moments where they do have a little more fun. And I like the fact that, you know, for him... Trying to find his mother was like the big thing, especially after that big conversation, the drama with Paul saying, you know, basically he's out doing his own little thing, not thinking about his family, right? So that has, he took that to heart. And because you can't just pick up the telephone in this world and call up Roxy, see what she's been doing. Oh, mom's over here wandering some case. Like he, he doesn't know that, right? So the fact remains like that was his big goal. Make a big name for himself per country, per city and move on to the next. And once you get the realization that she's okay, yeah, he gets to kind of take a step back he gets to collect himself and continue what he's doing and one of the more small details that I really appreciate about Rudy's character right now because for such a sexual if not perverted character like him when that ED hit him he basically it all shut off and his personality in my opinion in some ways got better and in other ways we see he tried to take his own life like a lot of things are starting to eat away at him so there's good with the bad but I think the idea of almost like that self-improvement the fact that anytime he's sexually frustrated he starts working out and he's proud he's there's moments where he's legit like damn like I'm really proud of the progress that I've made. Of course, they have some fun. You can look at the very end of the episode when the credits are playing. She's, uh, well, doing her thing and she's having fun. And what do we see Rudy do? He's crunching his abs and he's got the God, I wish that were me face. So anytime he's frustrated, rather than having a vice that's negative, he's improving himself. And I think that's one of the most healthy things someone can do, no matter what they're dealing with. If you're dealing with stress or anxiety or any drama, Doing something healthy like an exercise or something that's not going to negatively affect you is like the best thing you can do. And exercise is one of the best things you can do, period, because you can be having the worst damn day of your life. You exercise for 30 minutes to an hour, I guarantee you, majority, 99.99% of people are going to be feeling damn good after that because you burn off that stress. And I like the fact that there's these moments where after getting the letter of like saying, hey, it's all paid for. Come to our school. We'll teach you. Basically, we need someone like you because you're so special. We've heard the rumors, the rumblings. He immediately starts investing because who the hell is just going to randomly pick up a letter and just go 
live out a brand new life. No, you're going to go ask people around. And the idea that as he's talking and the dude's like, oh, yeah, this is a real letter. They People like you who are this special, they want you because it will improve the public image of the school. And like, I like how during that conversation gets brought up like, oh, where are you from? Like, what's your last name? And he's like, oh, isn't this so and so? And then he, we don't see it, but we see that he was crying because it brought out a memory of being like what he's lost, what that family's meant to him. And those little moments of real human interaction really does make Rudy, despite being a majorly flawed character, someone that you enjoy seeing the self-improvement and the journey of. Because for many, Mushuka Tensei is people isekai and i would completely agree with that statement in my opinion i think there's nothing quite like it because the way it hits different from amazing action such as when he's literally sniping that damn dragon that was probably the coolest attack i've seen from him like when he was like running across the beast and then just like sniping all the rocks just that animation was clean i loved what they did but my favorite part of this series as a whole is rudy's character growth and there's good growth there's bad growth but the overall idea of what a horrible first life did to someone and how he's trying to figure out things finally in his second where he's not being beaten and stripped down and tied to a flagpole and being emotionally and physically abused. It's interesting watching the second life where so many things about him at face value would make his life perfect, but he does make mistakes or he misunderstands things or all these things like getting thrown goddamn in the air and teleported around and not knowing where your family is. There's a lot to it and that's why I like that they don't abuse the god, the man god. Because he pops up, he says in this episode, it's been a couple of years, and all, obviously Rudy also says that he's been trying to contact with no communication. The idea that he's like, listen, go to school. Don't go where you're gonna go, go to school, and not only will your manhood improve, this will be the solution to a lot of your issues right now. Because if you obviously just every episode had Man God pop up telling him what to do, you would feel like Rudy never struggles because he'd have a magical being always pointing him to the right direction. But they definitely use it at the appropriate moments, because had he not been there, I don't think he would have went to that school at all. I think it's pretty damn clear. And because he is now, we're not only going to eventually have the reunion with Sylphie, depending on how long that takes, because she obviously isn't disguise will she immediately reveal herself will it take a bit we don't know but either way we know this arc is going to be very very different than anything we've seen before and that's kind of the brilliance of Mishuku Tensei is that always different right they never really do the same thing twice they always change up the formula the story arcs the story beats and that's kind of like the brilliance of it without a doubt they had the most fun with his ed this episode in terms of funny faces or moments but i think that just goes to show that his mentality is improving despite still being unable to get hard at the end of the day he is feeling a lot better than where he is and like i said last week had Soul not been there last week, he would have died. And even if, you know, say that moment didn't set him off, emotionally, mentally, and just where he was at, even spiritually, right, something would have set him off. He might have stubbed his toe the wrong way someday and just pulled that knife out because he was an emotional wreck. He is absolutely at his lowest. And because of that, I really like the fact that someone who started off so negative with him for a couple of years ended up being the best support he could ask for. And that's why that parting scene where he's like, I use you, I made so much money. It's just like, there's such a mutual respect there. And I think it's, you know, it's, it's sad to see that split up. But I like the fact that you leave the viewers wanting more of Soul rather than letting a character like that overstay is welcome and i do appreciate that but let me know what you thought of episode four of season two of that mishuka tensei greatness and how excited are you for the new arc that's about to start let me know down below if you like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new around here ring the bell so you can get notified when i upload more videos to the channel and of course like i mentioned we do have a full live reaction to today's wonderful episode available on my patreon and while you're there you also get a video shout out so today we have paul tar damister Trell, username MK, Vasuva, Granada, and Sign. So I appreciate the support, everyone. Please take care, and you all have a good one.